Welcome back to episode 22 of the Professional Diary this morning, guys. Down at the pitch, got a few drills set up behind me. This is like a little speed turning drill. Got my warm up set up here. Gonna go over there, do some band work at the goalposts in a minute. We'll get into the session straight away, straight into the warm up. Let's go. Currently Thursday, I got down here at half five in the morning. It's about quarter to six now. Since it's a Thursday, I did sprint training yesterday, Wednesday at like seven. There's not been a lot of time in between, so my legs are a little bit heavy. We're gonna be doing some quick movements now, get into the session, do a bit of band work, back and forth, get the resistance training going, and then into ball work. So I'm gonna be doing six sets of this drill. The first set, the third set, and the fifth set, I'm gonna be doing with the red band, and then in between each set, I'll do it without the band. So you get the resistance, then you get the normal speed. Go and take the band off, then go straight away. Five, ten seconds after, so you feel that resistance different. and do some resistance work now with the band. So what we're gonna be working on is making sure you tie the band around the pole. You're gonna do quick feet here, drop into it like a split runner's lunge here. Back up quick there, back. Just about you're slowing down, getting that quick stop and then back up into your quick feet. You're gonna do six each leg and then rest. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Nigga don't approach up with that Atari. Nigga that ain't good game home is sorry. They say conversation. So since my legs are quite heavy, I'm only going to do three sets, but normally do around four. side explosive movement get up then slow back in and to reduce your pull back here so you're not just being elastic at your back you want to fight against it and then get back out i'm going to do five getting out so one is get out and then back that's one so i'll do five each side two sets each side Now that we've done all the bang work, resistance stuff, 
we can move into the football stuff now. It's gonna be starting off with the diagonal dribbling and then move into some passing. I never ran to the no man, I still go Either lose the ball, not try and win it back, or you're gonna be on the bench. Simple as. these balls set up here we're going to be doing a 1v1 dribbling here where you dribble beat the man and then play it into the cone so it's a dribbling and passing drill i've got three gates set up there so if i go left i can have the opportunity to cut it back across play it straight down the middle to the striker's feet or play it down the line to say the left winger we want to make sure this 1v1 drill here is quick beat the man and then play the pass off straight away there is a third gate over there but you can't see it because i can't get that side in and the gate in all at the same time so you only get those two far gates if i hit it that way i assume i've got it in I just wanna fuck with you Cause they know I fuck with you I'm far from my trust in you What will you do? Do you just step back? Next drill is basically we've got a box set up just in front of the goalpost here. Gonna be doing the same thing over there. Gonna be doing a 1v1, beat the man there, down the line, and then cross it in. The box is set up so I have something like a target to aim to because this area here is about right for me to hit for a striker's head or a player running into the box to get a good finish on goal. Like narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chat trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. The wiggle. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Stub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle block. Like a sauna. Bust enough for no more trying to weep and the gun. Jumping in the water trying to sleep across the water. Can't see. Always out. I got my big bad for Ronald. 
out. Bag it, bag of money, know I gotta have it. Savage, but I'm still a gentleman in Cali. Static, nigga, turn them in about the cabbage. Uh, and this whole family, they run off with the fingers. I just put a pack on the window, book a talk. Pack, fuck his eyes out, and I'm telling what he saw. Fuck him, I'm watch out, I don't know if he'll talk. Watch out, chain so and I'ma saw our legs off. They know that we're a game, but they said that we're a ring. That's a game, taking pictures of the whole team. I'm a couple trying to do a sting. Tip the lip on the bike, won't stick them in a team. Trapping like the narco. narco. Got dope like Pablo. The next two is going to be a touch out my feet, just a simple touch out and then get a crossing. We'll do two more sets that since we've done two sets of crossing already and then we should be done. Okay. Go. The more money make more rain. Right. Going up a bank while I'm back in propane. Hey. Point blank range, give a nigga nose range. Hey. Skip to my loo with the pack and the cat. Hey. Chip it, loo with the bricks, where they at? Where? Dripping, booze, the paddock all wet. Birds in the truck, they ain't leaving at the nest. Get my base set like milk. Yup, running with the pack, got slip. Yep. Hands in the cookie jar, cut his finger off. I'm back home, just got out of the shower, I gotta be quiet because people are asleep. So I'm gonna go down and get some breakfast now, so I'll show you guys that. doing some work now after my breakfast i've got to get this work done because saturday tomorrow i'm quite busy and sunday i don't i'm not going to be doing much work so i need to get this work done in my business today done and then we can focus on what i need to do tomorrow for lunch i'm gonna do i don't know if i did the exact same thing in my last episode but I'm going to do a vegetable stir fry with some chicken and rice. It's not going to be the same veg as last time, obviously, because it's different veg. So I've got some uh, tender stem broccoli here, asparagus and sugar pea snaps, some courgette, some salad that I just made up, uh, some chickpeas I'll chuck in as well, and some rice and hummus that I'll have and my chicken. Let's get to chopping this courgette up. That's all chopped up now. I've got my chicken breast here, so I'll slice that now. Bang, all sliced up. Here it is. Chuck everything in the pan now. So I've got all the veg chopped up, my chickpeas, chickens in the pan cooking. Um, just going to season it with some salt, pepper, a bit of paprika, and then I'm going to chuck some sweet chili sauce on top as well. Adding in my rice, and then we go with the chickpeas as well. Give it a mix up, mix it up. About to eat up this chicken, rice and vegetables now. It's probably the easiest meal anyone can make. Just chuck in some rice, chicken, vegetables, and you're done. Simple as that. Once I eat up this, I'll probably see you guys when I get to the gym. And this workout's a really good one with a few different exercises, again, that I haven't done before. But it's going to be a good one. So before this workout, I actually did some plyometric drills, which were dumbbell CMJ releases and a BOSU ball hop and hold, which you've seen before. But the first exercise slash superset in this workout is this barbell side lunge explosive hip thrust. So you actually have a band wrapped around you, which you'll see on the side view in a minute. And then you're gonna do a hip thrust with the barbell on your back. This is a really tough exercise, but then we move in and we superset this with a band resisted side sprinter step up. On each of these, you're gonna do four sets of eight reps. So the next exercise you'll see in three, two, one, you'll see this band resisted side sprinter step up. It's great for explosiveness in the sprinter position. Beautiful like diamonds in the sky. I knew I 
Next exercise in the workout is this landmine band resisted explosive single leg RDL. So it's a great exercise to your hamstrings in the explosiveness because you've got the resistance from the band and then you've also got the weight from the landmine and the plate on the landmine row. So you actually want to do four sets of eight reps again on each leg though. Last superset of this workout is actually hamstring walkouts with holding the band above your body. So as you can see here, I'm holding the green band tied around the pole above my body whilst I'm doing these hamstring walkouts. And then we're supersetting this with some Nordic curls. The hamstring walkouts, you're going to want to do four sets of eight reps and the Nordic curls, you're going to want to do four sets of four reps. <laughs> Just decided to go get my hair cut. What do you guys think? So, gonna head home now. See you guys back at home. Back home now, my hair's looking decent. I'm about to get a protein shake from that workout, but my running spikes that I ordered have actually just arrived. My co running coach said it's probably best to buy a pair because it'll help me on the track when I'm training. So, got a pair. Let's open these up now. I just got, I didn't get really an, an expensive pair or anything, nothing professional. I I'm not a sprinter, so I've just got a, an, an all right pair just to help me when I'm running. Ooh, these are nice. Look at these. Got the spikes, the metal, the metal spikes in there. And we'll try these on and see if they fit. Let's make up my protein shake now. I'm gonna put this uh, kefir. It's like a gut health drink, gut friendly source of protein, no added sugar. It's like a milk yogurt base. I'm gonna put about 150 mils of that in. And then I'd normally put semi skim milk, but we don't have any, we've only got almond milk. So I'll chuck the rest of that in and then open another one. Put some more almond milk in, uh, about 150 to 200 milliliters of that. And then I'll go in with some ice. Then some blueberries, block of frozen spinach, <laughs> frozen banana. Hit it with a bit of cinnamon. Then I go with some chia mix, which I had for breakfast this morning, which you saw. And, and finally, a scoop of protein powder.
Then you just gotta blend it and enjoy. Now I can enjoy this delicious protein shake after that workout. Finishing off my work, but I had to take the dogs for a walk because my mum and sister are both away on holiday, so they couldn't take them, and my dad's at work, so I had to take them today. I've been on the walk for the past half an hour, 45 minutes, so I'm heading home now, and then we're gonna do some recovery, stretching, yoga. <laughs> Now that I've done my yoga, I'm just gonna lie down on my yoga mat out there, read Trillion Dollar Coach because I've finished my book for last week. So Trillion Dollar Coach is the book for this week. I'm gonna probably read this for like 10 minutes out here, then go upstairs, go on my normal tech for like 20, 30 minutes and read more. And also work on my business after I finish my 30 pages for the day. Getting on my normal tech, getting it all set up. Um, I also wanted to say, let me know in the comments what videos you guys do want to see me make. Like, do you want to see me make cooking videos like of me cooking the recipes that you see on my Instagram? Do you want to see me uh, talk about books? Like what good books there are to read? Like what books have I read? Do you want to see like recovery videos, how to do recovery? Let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure to reply to all of you guys. Picking up my dinner now. I've got some kale and sweet potato in the oven. So I just did a baked sweet potato. I'm gonna have that with some sour cream and cheese on top. Got a bit of veg here that I've just chopped up. Um, some chicken breast that I'll chop up and slice up in a minute there. And just chuck it all in the pan, cook that up, and then I'll have a baked sweet potato with it. So I'm just gonna cook this up now and get some dinner going. Chicken's cooking up now. Chuck the veg in, all that in there. Get that all cooked up. Should be ready to go. Putting a bit of teriyaki sauce on the veg and chicken. And then I'm also gonna get the baked sweet potato out, cut it in half, and then put a bit of cheese on top so that it just melts while it's sitting in the oven. Here's our baked sweet potato, cut this open. That, chuck the cheese on top. Here's the cheese, I'm gonna chuck this back in, get that a little melty, it's already melting a little bit. The kale, you can hear that. Look at that crisp, that's just gonna be crispy and delicious. Here's the finished product. We've got our turkey, chicken and veg, our kale done up a carrot to dip in hummus, and the sweet potato with cheese on top, and I'll put a bit of sour cream as well, and that'll be done and delicious. I've just eaten up my dinner now, about to do some editing on my laptop of the last episode, and I'm watching Luton versus Huddersfield on the TV. That's the championship. What so we do here is go back, 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 I'm just doing a bit of recovery. It just gets the blood circulating. Yeah, I'm lying on the floor right now, but gets the blood circulating through your leg, just flowing, and just 10, 15 minutes, it's enough, and it's great. Wow, what a goal. This, that was a good goal. Taking up my yogurt to finish the night. You guys have seen that before, so I'm not gonna show you me making that. I'm gonna go do some meditation after I eat that yogurt, and that's gonna be it for the day. So if you guys did like the video, make sure you like, subscribe, comment on the video what you wanna see next and make sure you share it with your friends. I hope you liked the video. Make sure you turn on notifications. See you in the next one.